So now basing on this simple understanding of binary such trees and B trees, now let us try to concentrate more on this B trees actually. So how one node structure is going to be there? So very simple, from this only we can uh, define its uh, structure actually. So how and all let us try to understand. So here if you see, uh, this is a block pointer actually, or uh, children, this is a children of this node, right? So that we are going to take. So you can see, uh, for example, here how maximum, how many uh, pointers you can give. That means num maximum children allowed how many? Three nodes actually. So that means that is what the order. Okay. So where order is n, that meaning is what actually? n children at most allowed. Like in binary such tree, two children at most allowed for any node. So here also n is nothing but at most n children is allowed that is nothing but at most n block pointers you are going to have. So that is what you can you can take one node structure if you consider here. So here if you see uh, for example I am going to take like this so pointer 1 and then here I am going to take pointer 2 and here I am going to take pointer 3 ok so like this you can have uh, uh, you can have here pointer n so before that you may have pointer n minus 1 so this is n minus 1 ok so that is what you can observe that so pointer to a children actually so pointer to a children that is nothing but pointer to a blo block actually. Now if you see internally what you must have here. So that is what saying that this is the key right. So that means you are going to have here key. So that part if you see here we are going to have a key k1 and uh, where this key that means where this particular file is existed that is what data pointer. See this is block pointer that means next uh, children node address actually and this is where this key is existed that is nothing but file address actually. So file key actually. So that file where it is physically existed in the memory that address you are providing immediately after that. So that is what we are going to take PR1. So that means data pointer this one or record pointer you can say whatever that so the simply where this file is ex uh, existed so that is nothing but here you can see here you can see this is the key 2 and here pointer 2 that means where this key is existed in physically in the memory actually so that address you are going to have here and then if you see now here also you can have same kind of structure but k suffix what you can write down actually so that you can understand here. So here maximum allowed is 3 children that means 2 keys is possible actually. So here n children maximum allowed means n minus 1 keys you can have in this node got the point or not. So in binary such trees one key is allowed because 2 children are there actually. So similarly here also key n minus 1 is at here and uh, its a pointer that means its a data pointer address we are going to have p r n minus 1. So this structure if you understand any problem that means next we are going to see the operations like search or uh, insertion or deletion you can do very easily actually and, uh, and also if you are preparing for the uh, uh, competitive exams or for your uh, academics, so basing on this node also you are going to have many numerical problems and many insights we are going to discuss. So this node structure you must understand very clearly for this binary uh, B tree actually. So that is what first of all try to understand. So now in this what you can write down uh, these things actually here P1, P2, P3 and so on p n is what actually block pointers you can say and k 1 
k2 k3 and so on what is the last key possible kn minus 1 actually so these keys these are actually keys and also relation among these things is what actually so that is very important k1 is definitely less than k2 k2 definitely less than k3 that is definitely less than next key like that kn minus 1 because it is also a one of one kind of binary such a tree right so that is why you can observe that key 20 is less than key 2 30 actually what the point so that is what the relation among these keys actually and then if you see pr1 and pr2 pr3 and so on prn minus 1 so these things you can say data pointers see these names may be differ but concept is same so some places we can call block pointer some place tree pointer or a children uh, address so like that different names are there but the concept is same and of course these are keys and here data pointer or record pointer ultimately where that particular file is existed in the memory physically that address you are providing in this form okay